flow. So starting with finding your breath and taking a few deep, slow breaths to connect into the prana all around. And with each inhale, that prana comes into the body. And with each exhale, all that is no longer needed, no longer serving, all waste or apana is breathed out. The inhale invites light and lightness. And the exhale clears and cleanses and expels all that is no longer serving, no longer healthy, no longer needed. And as you breathe, taking in the light and expelling what is no longer light, Feel the belly expand with the inhale. And as the diaphragm stretches and opens, the rib cage expands and the lungs expand into the belly. And every exhale compresses in, the belly goes in and squeezes out the organs and abdominals, lifting away any toxins, stuck energies or emotions. And opening up the system of energy which creates connection. The aura or the energy field which protects and resonates out with vibration for what we are calling into our lives and protects us from all that is potentially limiting in our lives, helping us to be aware of things before they get deeply ingrained into the field. And as you keep your breaths slow and deeply moving, you can start to bring awareness into the jaw. And if there's tightness in the jaw, or if the teeth are tightly clenched together, then start to roll the jaw, open the jaw. Take a few breaths where you ha out with the exhale. Move and roll the jaw side to side. Smile. And get your breath into the sides of the jaw, into the joint of the jaw where often tension sits, which leads into the neck and shoulders. Roll and open that space. Maybe you open and close the eyes along with this movement. Maybe stretching up the eyebrows and forehead and then scrunching up the face. Starting to loosen the whole face and jaw now. remembering your breath to fit in your breath as you start to tune in and open all the tense points along the body. Then maybe feeling into the neck and leaning the right ear to the right shoulder taking a couple of breaths, feeling 
that length of the neck, the side of the neck and the back of the neck starting to grow a little longer, maybe looking slightly down and looking slightly up to move along the muscles of the neck making sure to move nice and slowly. Remembering to fit your breath in. And then bringing the head back into neutral and just looking slightly up, stretching the back of the neck long, opening the throat. A couple of breaths here. And then leaning the left ear to the left shoulder, stretching the length of the neck. And again, maybe a little bit looking down towards the left shoulder and then looking up slightly towards the ceiling, just moving slowly and not straining to go too far, but sort of massaging out those muscles. And then bringing the head back into center on your next inhale. And start to bring the energy into the shoulders. Squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears, inhaling. As you exhale, really roll them back and down along the spine, opening the chest. A couple more movements like this, rolling the shoulders up to the ears and then pulling them back and down along the spine. Massaging out. And then rolling a little bit faster movements and we'll just roll 10 rotations just moving through the shoulder joints And then feeling the energy start to move into the spine and rolling a bit to side to side, stretching the side waist. One shoulder goes down and back as you open each side, stretching into the rib cage. Now you're moving through the neck and the shoulders and getting into the spine. And then coming into the center and we'll inhale forward, exhale back a few times. And coming into center, you can bring the hands just in front of you so that the arms come out, palms in line with the shoulders. 
and you're going to just stretch your fingertips, stretch the palms as wide as you can, and really root the shoulders back and down, hug the shoulder blades in towards each other, as if you're doing a chaturanga, and you're going to have those strong hands, and then bend the elbows in, and then extend. <clears throat> Inhaling, exhale, bend the elbows in. Inhale, re extend. Exhale, bending the elbows. Inhale, re extend. Now inhale, lift the arms up, palms face the sky. Couple of breaths here. Deep inhale. As you exhale, arms come out to a T, palms press out to the sides. Deep inhale. Exhale, interlace the hands behind. Open the heart and shoulders. Look up, lean back on the hands, breathe. Deep inhale, exhale slowly, leaning forward into a forward fold with the arms still extended, clasp behind, forehead comes to the ground. A couple of breaths there. Deep inhale, exhale, rising up, tuck the belly button in, long spine as you come back up, release the hands with your next inhale and place them onto the knees as you exhale. And now starting to roll some Sufi grinds, going around the hip flexors with the spinal column working with the hips to circulate around, keeping that long, tall spine, <clears throat> maybe even bending the elbows a little bit as you lean forward and pressing the arms long as you lean back, getting some upper body strength also moving with this as the core activates and the body rolls. And you start to clear the hips and invite energy from the sacral chakra, inviting the flow of Kundalini to rise. When changing directions, rotating through the other way. And on your next inhale, coming into center. And as you exhale, a big <sighs> breath out. <sighs> <sighs> inhale, extend your right leg out in front of you, left foot into the right thigh planting the hands on either side of the hips, lengthen the spine, and just breathe here, maybe move a bit side to side, maybe lean a little bit forward and a little bit back, and just opening the one hip and the back of the right leg. And then inhale your arms up above head, Exhale, slowly folding forward, belly button tucked into the spine, strong core, letting the hands fall wherever they end up, whether that's along the sides of the feet, the shin, maybe even on the thigh, wherever your body is at this morning. 
And just breathe into that space. Breathe into the opening of the hip flexors and the opening of the quadriceps and calf muscles, the hamstrings, the Achilles tendon, the bottom of the foot, and feel into that awakening of the muscles. Deep inhale, big ha, ah, releasing sigh. On your next inhale, walking the fingers back, coming back up with a straight spine. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. Bring the left leg in towards the midline and extend it out straight, switching the right leg to come in so that the right foot aligns with the left inner thigh flexing that left foot. And again, hands planted on either side of the hips, sway a bit side to side. Lean a bit forward and back. Just sort of feeling all those funny little locks and clicks and tensions and where they lie along the hips, spine, and back of the leg. Opening up a little bit more before you we get into the actual fold. And coming into stillness, inhale the arms up. And exhale, fold over that left leg, letting the hands fall to either side of the foot, the shin, even on the shin or thigh, and fold in to your head to knee pose, Janu Sasana, and breathe here. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale, a big sigh, and on your next inhale, slowly start to walk back up, coming back up into a straight spine. Shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. And bring that right leg into the midline. Extend both legs out. Maybe shake the legs out. And then plant the feet a little bit wider than hips width distance. And we'll windshield wiper the legs side to side. And then extending the legs out in front of you, pulling the flesh of the seat back out behind you, flexing the toes towards your forehead, long, tall spine, belly button tucked into the spine, hands planted on either side of the hips or just in front, coming into Dandasana pose, pressing slightly into the ground, flexing those feet, pressing the backs of the legs down towards the ground and feel the strength of your body here. I am strong and I am powerful. Let that resonate through the core. I am strong and I am powerful. I am strong and I am powerful. And we'll stay here now for 10 breaths.
deep inhale. Big ah, breath out. Two more. Ah. Ah. And then starting to relax the muscles of the legs. Let the feet start to fall out. And then bring the soles of the feet together a bit far out, so almost as far as they can extend, but so that the soles of the feet come together into a, an extended Baddha Konasana. And then placing the hands just above the shins, just between the knees and shins, and you can rock a bit side to side. And then roll a bit forward and back. And this requires a bit of core strength and a bit of leg activation, but you get into some stretch points that you wouldn't necessarily always reach, like parts of the quadriceps and psoas muscles around the um, back of the legs that we don't necessarily get to in a regular Baddha Konasana. And I like to also release my hands out to one side and do a sideways stretch here. And then switching. Do a few of those on each side, letting your breath and your body guide the, your opening of your body this morning. And then when you come back into center, you can start to walk the hands along the legs to fold in as far as you can go. Sometimes uh, the backs of the quadriceps or the hamstrings feel quite tight here. So you might not fold all the way in like you do in another form of Baddha Konasana when the feet are closer to the uh, base of the body. However you can go, however far you can go is, is welcome. So just let yourself sort of sink into where your body wants to stop. And then breathe into all those points along the legs and hips that you feel activating. And see if you can encourage them with your mind's eye to simply relax. and preparing now to come back up with a deep inhale big sigh inhale starting to walk the fingers up maybe pausing for a moment with your exhale and then continuing with the next inhale to rise up and bring the knees together and a little bit closer in towards the chest. Hands come to the tops of the chin, the sh <laughs> hands come to the tops of the shins and your chin comes into your chest, forehead towards the knees. I'm just breathing here for five breaths.
deep inhale as you straighten out the spine. And then with a straight spine, pull back on the, on the knees. Well, not pulling on the knees, but pulling back on the shins so that you create tension. Tuck the belly button in, open the chest and roll the shoulders down and just lean there for a minute with the legs strong. So you might have to reestablish your feet to the ground if you pull yourself up and then hold there for five breaths, lengthening the spine, opening the chest. Deep inhale, exhale, release your fingertips to either side of the hips, and then start to swing the legs out behind you, coming onto hands and knees, finding your tabletop position. Inhale, opening the chest, exhale, spine rises. So we'll just do some cat cows here. A little bit slower than a kundalini cat cow, so, but we're still going to go through inhaling, opening into cow pose, and then exhaling, sending the back of the heart up into cat pose. But take your time in each expression, maybe even taking a couple of breaths with the chest open. <sighs> with our intention of waking up all the areas of the body this morning and taking our time to do so. And next time you're up in your cow pose with the chest open, the gaze forward, bring the big toes together and send the knees out wide to the edges of the mat. Sink your seat down to meet your heels. Arms stretch out in front, coming into child's pose with wide legs or wide-legged child's pose. And as you breathe into this wide-legged child's pose, feel the hip flexors and feel the spine. Feel how from your root to the shoulders and crown of the head, everything is connected. A little tension in the hips can change the tension along the whole spine and shoulders and collarbones and neck. So as you sink into this posture, Maybe you feel a little bit of a pull to one side or the other, maybe slow movements leaning to one side and then the other, or maybe walking your hands over to one side and sinking in there for a few breaths. This is your body, your practice. So listen to your body in this child's pose and explore the hip flexors, explore the spine, explore the shoulders and the side waist. Every little angle in this posture can change and open somewhere differently in the body.
important if you're taking time on one side or the other you can make your way to balance the opposite side and then taking a few breaths to make your way back into center and we, we will transition into sphinx posture so just taking your own time to make sure that you balance your sides if you were lean on a lean in the child's pose and then as you make your way slowly back into neutral alignment you can start to slide all the way forward on the belly and release the feet out behind you legs out behind you into like a cobra tail feet together legs parallel and then the elbows come underneath the shoulders shoulders roll away from the ears gaze is forward and breathing in your sphinx posture really opening the heart feeling your breath feeling the length of the spine the length of the heart Each breath going down through the heart, down into the belly and down through the legs, out the tips of the toes into the earth. Feel how your breath expands the diaphragm and how the pelvis presses even more into the ground with each exhale. And the chest opens even more. Every little subtle change that the breath makes. Just be sensitive to those changes. And from here, taking a deep inhale, exhale, press into the hands, lift the chest up a little further, lengthening the arms. And then exhale, sliding down all the way onto the belly and the arms should come out extended. And the forehead to the mat. And then from here with your own core and back strength you're going to lift the arms up in their extension so reaching up and then exhale down inhale lift the arms head and chest off the mat reaching forward exhale down and one more and this time lift the toes up and you're flying and exhale down find your full length let the legs come apart a little bit and just sink into the ground for a few breaths get as flat as you possibly can really pressing your body into the ground <sighs> Then taking a deep inhale. As you exhale, placing the hands beneath the shoulders, tucking the toes, push up through plank, up and back, downward facing dog. And in your downward dog, just take this time to stretch and pedal out the legs. And then inhale your right leg up. Exhale, bring that right foot in between your hands. 
Lower your left knee down, toes can stay tucked. Coming into a low lunge. And you can bring the arms above head here. And you're going to inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, open the heart, lean back, gaze up. Inhale, gaze forward, arms parallel. Exhale, lean back, open heart, gaze up. One more, inhale. And coming to center, inhale here. Exhale, plant your fingertips on either side of that front foot, lengthen the back leg. Step back, plank pose, chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Fingers spread. Heels heading towards the ground, hips up, belly button tucked in, gaze towards the toes. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, gaze towards the hands, bring that left foot in between the hands, lower that back knee down. Rise up, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Gaze forward, arms parallel on the inhale. On the exhale, open heart, lean back. Inhale. Exhale, open heart, lean back. Inhale. Exhale, elbows to the shoulders, palms spread, lean back, open heart. Inhale, coming to neutral. Exhale, fingertips on either side of that front foot. Straighten that back leg. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in your downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet. And then coming into stillness, and we'll hold here for five breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale, drop the knees down and send your seat back to meet the heels. Knees are together, this time standard child's pose. And we'll take 10 breaths here. On your next exhale, tuck the belly button into the spine. Interlace your hands at the sacrum and inhale, pull yourself up with the arms, pulling up and back into a straight spine, coming onto the knees. And then again, leaning back onto the hands. So you're bringing your hands clasped at the sacrum, extending the arms up and back and pull yourself back with the arms. And then when you come up into a straight spine, or sorry, you're going to be opening the chest still and you can lean back onto the hands again like we did near the beginning of the practice. Opening that heart. Letting love flow. I love myself, I am love. I love myself, I am love. 
I love myself. I am love. Deep inhale. Exhale, coming back to a neutral spine, placing the hands on tops of the thighs. Breathing here, a few breaths. And beginning some spinal flexes. So we're going to begin a pumping motion with the spine, inhaling the heart, ex inhaling the heart and chest open, exhaling, sending the back of the heart behind you, inhaling heart and chest open, slight gaze up, exhale back of the heart behind you. So these are sort of like cat cows, and but we create a rhythm. So they are spinal flexes, and this is awakening Kundalini energy. So get a rhythm that works for you, and we'll do two minutes here. Taking a deep inhale, coming into stillness, and a big sigh. <sighs> Bring the fingertips on either side of the knees, lift your seat slightly, tuck your toes. Bring the seat back onto the heels. Breathe here for five breaths. And we're going to move into a rabbit pose. So you can stabilize with the fingertips on either side of the thighs if you want, or you can take hold of the heels and fold in from here. Either way, your next goal is to bring your forehead as close to your knees as you can and your top of head onto the mat. So finding a rabbit pose and we'll breathe in our rabbit pose. So you have your two ways to come in, either like this, fingertips on either side of the body, Come in, bring the forehead towards the knees, top of the head on the mat, and then reach for the heels, lift the seat up, pulling along the arms. Or you can also begin from here, taking hold of the heels, folding down, forehead towards the knees, top of the head on the mat. And that is your rabbit pose. So we'll breathe there for about five breaths and then slowly come out.
And at the end of the next exhale, tuck the belly button in, lift your spine up, lift your chest up, untuck the toes and sit down on the heels. Breathing here, just letting yourself become upright again. And then extending the legs out in front of you once more, pulling the flesh of the seat out behind you. And this time we'll come into a seated forward fold. So walking the hands forward, coming into it as far as you can. And we'll take 10 breaths in the fold, whether that means you soften in a little further as you go, or you stay where you end up at first, it's totally up to you. Give yourself this 10 breaths to really stretch the entire length of the back body. And again, feel into all those subtle little changes that the breath makes as you sink into the posture, bringing your awareness to the awakenings of the muscles and the movement of energy through the vayu. Finding a few releasing breaths here, cleansing inhales and releasing sigh before we come up. <sighs> Inhaling white and gold light through the whole body. And <sighs> sighing away, breathing away anything that is no longer serving. <sighs> Two more. And with your next inhale beginning, just walking the fingertips back a little bit at a time, coming up again into a neutral spine. And when you rise up, you can plant the hands on either side of the hips and we'll take one more time with windshield wipers, loosening up the lower back and the hip joints. Taking your time as you go one side to the other, maybe pausing for a breath on either side. And when you're ready, you can plant the feet again and bring the hands on to just above the shins and we're just gonna roll ourselves back onto the back and roll a few times along the spine.
and then bringing yourself into stillness on the spine, but keep bring the legs into the air. You can also place your hands underneath the seat as we do this posture and bringing the legs into the air will take one minute here. Deep inhale, big sigh, two more. And very slowly bring your knees in towards your chest and hug your knees into the chest. Bring your forehead to meet the knees, five breaths here. And with your next inhale, lengthen the arms behind you, stretch the legs out and down. Take a deep inhale, stretching the whole body long. And as you exhale, let the arms fall down to your sides. Coming into Shavasana, allowing every part of your body to start to crumble into softness, grounding into the earth, settling everything down, bringing calm and peace within the awakened system, letting everything soften, settle, Letting the mind be washed with prana, energy, light, and life force to bring balance. Letting all unnecessary thoughts dissolve for this now moment of deep surrender. Letting the old you die away and the new true you be integrated.
Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tatsavitur Vareniyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Diyo Yona Racho Daya Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dimahim Diyo Yona Racho Dayat Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Diyo Yona Prachodaya Om Shanti 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 Wiggling your toes and wiggling your fingers, taking your time to get back into your body. And whenever you are ready, you can roll to one side and make your way up into a seat or roll back and forth and make your way up into a seat. Just taking your time to come back up into your awakened, new rejuvenated surrendered self for a new beautiful day of your journey and we'll just close with a little mantra prayer for happiness for all beings in all realms loka samasta sukino bhavantu Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu loka samasta sukino bhavantu om shanti 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 Sa nam Namaste Satnam Ahomatakuyasin to all our relations. Blessed be your day and blessings to this practice. Thank you for practicing with me. <laughs>